Literally, Gina's fart. I didn't think that many people would like my <laughs> redesign video. I will admit, I was a little scared to post it because I didn't think people would sit down and watch this girl just complain about these husband designs for like almost 10 minutes. But you did, so now I'm making a part two. Before we get to the designs though, I did want to address a, uh, a few things from the last video. A lot, and I mean a lot of people were trying to explain to me the reason of like the intense red color palette. Supposedly, each ring is supposed to have its like own designated color, which is pretty cool. You see that a lot in Hell of a Boss especially. But if that's the case, if you're setting is already that color there's no need to make your characters that same color like that's why it's so important to have contrasting or complementary colors because it's not a huge eyesore like in a, a character for example ida from the owl house she is very red based in her color palette but the thing is not every other character is like that. Also, the setting isn't like that at all. She's the only one that's like really standing out from that. And that's what makes her character pop. That's what makes her character so iconic. I love her so much. Oh my god. And that's what makes it so bearable to look at. So that's why I changed the color palette. If you're gonna have a setting that's a specific color, don't make the characters the same color, let alone all the characters the same color, because then it's not gonna correlate well and it's just gonna crash terribly. Okay, let, let, let's go to the let's go to the region. Fox's design wasn't the worst per se, but it definitely could have been better. Like this is a good time to bring up the fact that a lot of the characters don't really represent the time period that they died in. Like apparently he had died in the 1950s, and I'm gonna be honest, his pilot design even though it didn't represent that much of 50s like elements, it looked a lot better. I can already hear some of the comments. Um, he's um, um, he supposed to be representing innovative tech and all that. I thought the vintage TV would have been a lot better because I like to think that he would be stubborn enough to be like, oh, well, I'm the only one that can like stay to my roots. And that's probably also why he has so much beef with Alistair because he's like, there's only room for one fish in this bowl. I don't know. I, I just thought the Vintage TV would look a lot better. I think my biggest issue with his design was just like Vaggy and her hair. His like TV head was carrying the entire design. So like the rest of his design was just like pretty bland. Like his design, like his clothing and his accessories didn't correlate with anything about him or with his character. And his outfit wasn't the worst. It just didn't make sense. It was just like a neon blue suit. Like he just had an awkward top hat and it looked really bad on him. And I really like how they made him almost like robotic and that's what I did. I tried to make him more like a robot than like a person. But like in the show, they don't show like any of that. Like they just gave him like a fat head TV and called it a day. I will say I'm happy that they didn't use so much of the red. But yeah, and to give his character a little bit like of a more unique touch, I thought it was genius for this. I made his tie like the sensor screen. I thought that was really cool, um, and I also like just made his clothes like very vintage 50s color palette, I guess. And that's it, fam. Uh, he's honestly like my favorite designs out of the V's, to be honest. Like, I really like how creative I was with his. You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. Maybe you missed it. I think Velvet's design was probably like one of the most boring ones out of like all three V's. Like for both of the V's, like we see that Vox is a TV head, he's a news anchor, ooh that's so cool. For Valentino, he's not a great guy, but he has a great design. For Velvet, she she didn't have anything going on other than changing her wardrobe and hairstyle like every episode. And we don't even like get any information on how she died, what she's supposed to be resembling, she just she just looks like a cosplayer. She's supposed to be like the fashion sort of part of the whole like V tower, but like th there's nothing really incorporating that other than her constantly changing her outfit. So that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to bring out more of like that doll aesthetic. A lot of people were making her like a uh, kind of like a zombie doll sort of thing. And that's what I did. I tried to make her more like a stitched up doll, like a Lala Loopsie or something. Um, I also thought it would be really cool to add those like sewing pins to her hair to show that like that's what she is because it's like she how are you gonna like make a fashionista character and all you do is just change their clothes constantly you know I also just decided to stick with one hairstyle I thought these like um, afro buns would be really cute and I also shaped them like to be hearts because that's kind of what her aesthetic is I didn't change much about the color palette because I will say something about the V's 
is they do match their color palette for the most part. Like, I think these are some of the characters that can stay with some of the red because, first of all, Valentino is just all about love and all that, I guess. I don't know. In Velvet, well, like, her color is, like, pretty pink, all that, like, that. I don't know. I just feel like it suits them definitely a lot more than the other characters, but... Yeah. I also wanted to change more of her wardrobe and give it more of like a Lolita type S. I gave her like this really frilly like tutu, I guess. And wanted to just give her that sort of like brat look, I guess. Like, I wanted her to look like all stuck up and like, like how she is in the show, just like portray that more with her design. And then one of my biggest issues with like Vancey Pop's designs in general, again, is nobody has noses. Like 50% of the time, you don't see a character with a nose. You'll see a character with like an animalistic button nose. And then you'll see her father with like not a nose. It just bothers me because it like... I, for me, like, when I draw the characters, I have to give them noses. Like, I give a Pomni a nose. All the I don't know. It's just, like, a personal, like, thing. They could have executed it better. I just, I had to give her a nose. I'm sorry. That's that's what I'm trying to get to. I already liked her uh, color palette for the most part. I did change her skin color to be darker because why is every, like, POC character just gray? But, yeah, that's it. Uh, I really like her design. It's nothing too special. I kind of just tweaked a few things here and there. Alistair's missing, led with his tail between his legs. Nature abhors the power of vacuum, it leaves room for you. Valentino was probably one of the hardest characters to design, not because his design was bad or anything, which it wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. It's because he's such a terrible character in general. Like, I didn't even want to design him at this point. Like, if you like Valentino, if he's genuinely one of your favorite characters in, like, like, out of every single character, he's your favorite. I don't like And him. I don't want to hear the excuse of, Oh, he's a really well-written villain! Okay, you can like a villain at, like, a certain distance. You don't have to buy, like, body pillows and, like, merch of them and be like, Um, I just like their writing. Just admit it and admit you're weird, man. Anyways, uh, my main <laughs> issue with, like, his design was that, like, first of all, he's supposed to be a moth, <clears throat> which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love moths. I love, I love insects that have pretty privilege. But, like... Why are, why are his wings like his coat? You know, I get like, oh, that's supposed to be cool. That is supposed to be cool, but I don't know. It was just executed weirdly. Like, how, do, how, does his, how does his wings have like sleeves? Do they just wrap around his like arm? That must be really uncomfortable to like bend your arm. I don't know. I did base him off of a specific moth. Um, You'll see in a second the main color and you're going to be very disappointed at, <laughs> at me at the color choice. But that's the thing. He didn't really look like a moth. He just gave like a lot of elements. He was bald. He had wings and... He, his eyes were black. That, that was it. I gave his wings, like, a specific, like, pattern, making them look like they have eyes on it, because that's what a lot of moths have. I also made him more fluffy, like, around the neck. I gave him a lot of neck fluff. And I burned the top hat. The top hat looks stupid. He deserves to be bald. And I kept his main outfit, like, for the most part. I also gave him special face markings, because I thought he looked a little too empty. And it looks a lot better. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the red. I know, I know. I've just, like, been screaming about the red color palette. But I will say, if... One character is red, while the rest of the cast has their own colors going on. It looks fine, so sue me. And that's it, fam. That's it. Um, I'm so sorry this video took so long to get out, and I'm sorry it's shorter. But I promise I will get four more characters for the next episode to make up for it, I guess. But yeah, um, let me know, like, who should I do next? I already have an idea of who I'm going to do for the next part, but... Um, a lot of people were recommending me to do like Hell Boss, and I think I might do that because the the Seven Deadly Sins looked horrendous. They don't—they look really bad. I'm sorry. So yeah. Um, once I'm done with this series, I'll probably do Hell of a, or maybe another one. So you know, drop drop it down in the comments. What what show should I do next? What franchise should I do next? Um, yeah, that's it. See you next time, Mom.